What is going to happen to you when you die? This is the most important question we could ever ask ourselves because the great statistic is this, 10 out of 10 people are going to die someday. And that's why I'm particularly excited to react to this new trailer for a movie coming out called After Death by Angel Studios. I haven't watched the trailer in full yet, so I'm gonna give you a fresh reaction to this trailer, and I think it is going to blow your mind, challenge you, and for some of you, it might even frighten you, which it actually should. I'm gonna share with you at the end of this video why this is a good thing for us to be thinking about, wrestling with, and even being afraid of to a certain degree. So make sure you stick around to the end, let's dive into the video. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Cap Chatfield and I create content for the kingdom and I also train creators, entrepreneurs, and influencers to do the same. If you wanna learn more about that, you can click the link in the description of this video, but you can also support the channel by buying some Three Nails clothing. You go to threenailsclothing.com and use promo code CAP, you get 10% off all of the amazing gear. This is a faith-based performance wear company, sportswear company, and every purchase also goes to help fight human trafficking. You can find a link for that in the description as well. Now, let's dive into this awesome trailer. Doctors resuscitate. I can't be dead because I've never felt more alive. I've never heard these experiences before. Hogwash. It was 1969, the beautiful day to fly. We were about Already 100 feet the above the ground job. when I started noticing that great. something was wrong. It was an engine failure. We need more Christian movies, faith-based movies that are coming out strong with this type of amazing production value, especially for a documentary. As a filmmaker myself, a documentary filmmaker, uh, game recognized game. This is... They're going hard with the production value of this. And I started noticing that something was wrong. It was engine failure. Trees were filling our windshield. I found myself above the crash site. And while I'm processing what I'm looking at, I can see a pilot and this is me. No two near-death experiences are the same. Out of nowhere, a trailer truck hit me head on. But they typically occur in a very consistent process. We began to go down the river, and my boat became pinned. I was drowning. The first thing that happens is called an out-of-body experience. And they come to a place of exquisite beauty. They very commonly see a light. Deceased relatives come to meet them. The first person I saw was my grandfather. Now I'm traveling like a rocket ship, straight upwards. And with that... <laughs> oh my God, I'm alive. But not every near-death experience is a good one. 23% had hellish experiences. I saw a black tunnel. I was just falling. I wasn't in fear, I was in terror. It was just darkness. Put me back. I don't belong here. I heard a voice before I woke up. You still have a purpose on Earth. I was very skeptical. I never felt alive and then dead. I felt alive and then more alive. I had full brain recordings from the dying human brain. Even though they were unconscious, they were able to give corroborative evidence. She's described herself that she just shouldn't know. To say right. You can't be mystified by that question. What happens after you die? Hey. This really does show that there is life after death. Woo! Yo! Yo! That looks sick! That looks super dope. I'm not gonna lie, that is fresh. Man, okay. I think this is a movie that, that from the from the production value of it, from the nature of the topic itself, this is a video that we should be going out and seeing and supporting a hundred percent. Now, again, I can't I can't vouch for the fact of uh, I haven't seen the film yet. I haven't seen the stories. I don't know exactly uh, how credible the stories. I'm assuming that they are. Uh, I don't know also how much this aligns with what we see in the scripture. But bottom line. I think this is a very important film for people to see for a couple of reasons. Number one, like I said, the great statistic is that we are all going to die one day. 10 out of 10 people are going to die, 
You are not going to get out of this life alive. And so many people believe this lie that once you die, you cease to exist and then you kind of just go and drift into nothingness and there's no life after death. This is completely antithetical to what Jesus taught. Jesus taught that there's a heaven and there's a hell. And some, a lot of people, the Bible says, Jesus himself said, wide is the path that leads to destruction and narrow is the path that leads to life and few will find it. But Jesus came so that many would actually find that path of eternal life. And I hope, and it sounds like this film is going to help people, point people in that direction, help them understand how they're going to experience eternal life. The reason why I also was saying at the beginning that this is uh, frightening is you see what they're talking about with the hellish encounters. I've seen amazing videos and testimonies of people online who are Christians who had a, a vision of them going to hell and Jesus took them to hell, basically, gave them this encounter, showed them what was going on there. Their experiences were, were biblical. They look at, you look at scripture and a lot of the things that they saw and what they described, you find in scripture. And so we need to recognize that this idea of quote unquote universalism, that everybody's just going to go to heaven one day or nothing's going to happen at all, or you're going to reincarnate as a fish or a twig. It's not uh, that's not what the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches that there are two destinations for where souls will spend eternity. One is heaven, which they described as being more than life. Like you're living more than you're living here, which is ex extremely exciting to consider. And the other is hell, where we will experience separation from God, re receiving the punishment that we deserve for our sins against this holy, perfect God who provided an amazing life for us, who gave us all the gifts that we have, but we rebelled against him. We stiff armed him. We said, you know, we put the middle finger up to God and said, we can do this on our own. I can go and I'm going to be the God of my own life, really following the path of Satan and the, the place where Satan is going to experience suffering and torment forever in the lake of fire. That was designed for God's wrath to be poured out on Satan and for his legion of demons. It wasn't intended for people, but we because of our own rebellion, we chose to follow Satan, and that's the that's the destiny that we deserve because of our sin. Even you hear the guy in this trailer; he was saying, uh, "I basically, I think he said, I don't, I didn't deserve to come back, but he brought me back." And it's uh, it's amazing. I mean, and I'm I'm assuming that he came back. Uh, he's he was emotional because he's probably we'll see in the in the movie he's probably gonna go to hell. He's probably gonna be separated from God forever. So. Regardless, here's what I want to tell you guys. This film is coming out uh, today is October 26th. This film comes out tomorrow, October 27th. Uh, and it seems like it's in theaters uh, across the country. Not all, but it sounds like um, maybe a limited release. I don't know for how long. Make sure you go and watch this movie. I can't, again, I can't vouch for what's in the content of it, but I will say this video, this movie, at the very least, if you bring your neighbor, if you bring a coworker, if you bring an unsaved or unbelieving friend or spouse or girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, this movie will at, ve at the very least begin the conversation that will have people asking, what's going to happen to me when I die? We go through life and we try to entertain ourselves away from asking this question seriously. I hope that this, ho that this film gets people to start taking uh, eternity seriously, spiritual warfare seriously, and the state of their soul seriously. And ultimately a, a relationship with God, seriously. In the description of this video, you're going to see a link. You have the opportunity to buy a, a, a ticket to this movie wherever you can find it, a theater near you from that link. You can also pay it forward. If you want to be generous and be able to pie, uh, purchase, pr pie, purchase or buy tickets for somebody else who might not be able to afford to go see this movie, you can do that as well. I encourage you to do that. Also, again, if you guys want to support the channel, Guys, I wear these this clothing all the time. It's the best clothing ever. I literally just came back from a mission trip in Colombia, and this stuff holds up so well, fits great, and you're supporting a great cause. You get 10% off. Go to 3 and use promo code CAP. You get 10% off whatever gear you want. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much. Let me know if you're going to see it in the comments. Say, I'm going to go see this movie if you're going to go see it. Subscribe for more, and we'll see you in the next one.